Hi guys, so welcome to my first ever chit chatty journal with me. My first ever journal with me was just like kind of music and just like chilling so you can just watch me journal as you journal. But this one, I decided that I wanted to do one where I was talking because I like to listen to people talk. And I don't know, maybe you're one of those people. If you're not one of those people, you can check out my other video. What I'm going to be journaling about today is ATZ's comeback. Oh my god. We'll get into it later, but oh my god. As you can see, ATZ is very important to me. They may be rookies, but they are my ultimates. So, we're going to be journaling about them today. Um, I will probably... Let's see. You have to plan out your spreads, guys. This is how I plan out mine. Um, so I will probably only talk at certain parts of the video and just like speed through where I'm like not talking as much or like not really doing anything like interesting. So right now I'm just going to cut out my pictures that I already printed and kind of arrange the spread. <laughs> pretty much got it how I want it um, I don't know how I feel about these guys but we're just I really I like this part I think this one's okay I just wish I had more writing room but I don't know we shall see how I do this so I'm just gonna start like gluing down stuff because why not well slash I have tape but I don't really like using it but I guess I can use some of this time to like talk about ATs and talk about their newest comeback. So I've been a fan of ATs since pre debut. Yeah, pre debut. But like not super pre debut. Like I watched um KQ Fellas was like the first thing I ever watched of them. And I didn't and like some people now don't even know about KQ Fellas. Like, they just think of ATs as, like, those pirate guys. Like, I don't even know what they went through. <laughs> Oops, I need to lift up Yanho because I forgot I was going to put Mingy down first. But, anyways, and my bias is Hongju. I ult him as well because I ult ATs. Bites. I love all of the numbers so much. I love them all. Like, like you could be like, who's your bias record in ATs? And like, literally, the answer is everyone but Hongjun, because Hongjun's my bias. I love them all. Very, very much. And they deserve the world. Oh my god, Mingi, you're too far over. This is already going to be a mess. This is already a mess. Hongjun is my bias. He's a tiny man. And I love him a lot, but I love all the members. Um, I don't understand people who, like, don't like all the members of the group that they stand. Like, that's why you should stand the group, is if you like everybody and you're, and you're just like, I love everyone in this group so, so much. Like, you can have a bias. Like, you can have your favorite, 
but like appreciate all members you know i feel like yosung is one of those he's one of those guys like that no one appreciates but i think he's so adorable like i was watching his treasure film like um when they did the the wake up calls and he is so freaking cute like he's he's shy but he's still adorable but I feel like a lot of people don't bias him and like that makes me want to bias him but Hongjun has my heart guys Hongjun has my heart okay San is going first I feel like a lot of people bias San which I mean he is adorable and he the, is duality king but I feel like all of ATs have duality I'm really I'm the same age as them like my birthday is two weeks before Yunho's birthday. Like, we, I was born two weeks before Yunho. So I feel like maybe um, we're, I'm just, like, too close in age with them. I don't know. Does that make a difference? Like, I obviously don't see Jungho as, like, sexy because he's a baby. But I don't know. What else can I talk about? This music video was legitimately everything to me i'm sorry i'm just cutting all of the young's pictures fine this music video was everything and more i legitimately died when i saw this like i think what made it murder me was like it's just kind of back to a teases like original vibes like pirate king was just so like dark and like cool guy and like haha like we're pirates we don't care about anything you know but i don't know why it's called wonderland that's what i'm confused about <laughs> they don't say it in the song and like does it have to do with illusion like is this because they woke up from the illusion. So like why are they in Wonderland now? That doesn't make no sense. That don't make no sense. And I love like the military style that they went with in this music video. Like the the outfits. And the, um, the marching band. It made me think of My Chemical Romance. Like a uh, black parade. <laughs> but in like a good way. <laughs> Should I draw it or should I leave it? I don't think it's gonna be a good drawing, first of all. Let's try it. Let's try and draw it. Let's try and draw this. Six and a half hours later. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna use this on the back of it. And then I'll put these guys. I really, really love the music video. Like, it looks so good. Just like very aesthetically pleasing. The thing that I'm confused about is like what does it all mean? Because it has to mean something. You know K-pop. Like it has to mean something. But like what? I don't get it. I want to make an entire theory video about like what I think is going on in the AT's universe. But this whole music video like threw me for a loop. Like I have no idea. Why is Wu Young chained up? That's all I want to know. Why is he chained up? It's hashtag free Wu Young because what is going on? I really need choice music to like ship my albums because I really want to see them and touch them and fill my give my photo cards because I do collect photo cards. If you haven't watched some of my other videos, you may not know, but I do collect photo cards. I collect all members of ATs. Um, I don't know if that'll change because, um, we're getting real broke here. But, I really enjoy collecting all members. I think that they all look gorgeous. All the photo card sets look gorgeous together. So, I really want to keep collecting all members, but I'm scared I'm not going to be able to. Especially if they keep doing, like, two album versions like this. Like, oh lord. Like, oh no, no. Uh, this is ATS's first full album. All the other ones have been minis. 
but I'm getting like what is the next one gonna be because they say it's the beginning of the end so there's a nut there's an end to the end right does that make sense <laughs> there's an end to the end so like there has to be another album also I've seen pictures of the back of the album and how they connect at the back and they spell out ETs, but like they haven't finished it. So riddle me this. So I'm gonna move on to some calligraphy. I've listened to the album like so much recently oh my god it's like literally i don't know how they keep topping themselves but they do it every single time um and i think my like i don't want to say like my favorite song but like one of my favorite songs on the album because there are no skips <laughs> is um is Mist. Mist is like so freaking good, so good. I could listen to that song over and over again and never get tired of it. I'm pretty sure like Wu Young is the one who opens it. Like I've heard some debate over who exactly they think is the opener, but I feel like Wu Young. It sounds like Wu Young, but who knows? We won't know unless until they perform it. But I'm really like suspicious. That there's definitely gonna be another album i think there's going to be at least one more like this album tells a story because they have because they have the end of the beginning and then there's the precious overture which i think is like kind of how crescent was in the last album so it's like definitely telling some sort of story so this is my finished spread um i hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe and leave a comment and let me know what your favorite song off of this album is see you in the next one